Hi friends! My name is Georgia and I really like reading books. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to read three really fun books from our friend Blippi. I'm sure you know all about Blippi. I'm sure you've watched his videos. He sings a whole bunch of silly songs. He explores so many cool places. So I'm sure you know who Blippi is, but I want to introduce our friend, the German Shepherd stuffed animal. He doesn't have a name yet, but I'm thinking of maybe a name like Buster. What do you think of something like that? I think that'd be really cute to have a dog named Buster. So do you have a dog at home? We used to have a German Shepherd dog that looked just like this. He was really nice. Okay. So we're going to start reading a book. And so this one's called Blippi, Things That Go. So we're going to read, uh, read about cars and boats. This one is called Blippi at the construction site. And then this one is Blippi, Let's See Animals. So to start, let's read Blippi, Things That Go. And this book comes with a lot of really cool stickers. Wow, there are so many things that go. Zoom, look at this. This is an orange and blue monster truck. If you know anything about Blippi, he likes orange and blue. This is a police car going really fast. This is a boat on the water. This is a fire truck. This is an excavator. And this right here is a seaplane. This is a big red fire truck. Fire trucks have all the equipment you need to put out a fire. And all these arrows are pointing to important things on the fire truck. So let's look at those. So these are called compartments where they store gear. This is a pump that I'm guessing the hose hooks up to there and that's where it gets water. This is the ladder that firemen use to go up high in buildings or houses. These are tires that are, that's on any um, moving vehicle like a car or a truck. A bumper, um, these are lights and these are more lights and this is where the siren is too. So when you hear the loud Nina, Nina, that's where it's coming from. So that's to point out to cars that they need to move out the way. So that's a fire truck. Those are really cool. Hey, is that the fire alarm? Get your helmet, your jacket, your gloves. I better put on my safety equipment. Now it's time to jump in the truck and go to the fire. Let's put out the fire. Nina, Nina. Ooh, what's this? Check it out. It's a seaplane. A seaplane can take off and land from the water. That's what makes this different from a regular airplane. The seaplane has these things called floats on them. So floats and wheels, so it can wheel on the ground, but these floats, it can land in the water. There's a propeller, there's wings. So these are really cool. And Blippi thinks so too. Seaplanes are cool. The floats let a seaplane land on water. Look what's behind the propeller. It's really a big engine and up here there's a cargo compartment. Have you ever seen a monster truck? They're so big and so loud. I love monster trucks. Smash, boom. A monster truck is twice as tall as me. That's what Blippi says. Vroom. So this monster truck is painted in his colors. Climb aboard. Let's travel across the water in a boat. Ahoy matey. Always wear your life jacket. Mine is orange. That's the steering wheel. Ooh, look what this is. It's an excavator. Excavators are so spectacular. Let's look at the pieces of it. So 
an excavator doesn't have individual wheels or tires like a fire truck. An excavator has a caterpillar track where it just keeps going. And so it's one big moving thing and that's how the whole vehicle moves. This is the cab where the driver sits. This is the boom. This is the arm. And this is the bucket that scoops up the dirt. I'm sitting in the cab of the excavator working the controls. This is so much fun. So there's controls inside the cab. So look, so he's using this for um, to scoop up dirt and trees. Yeah, it's a police car. Those are the lights. That's the siren, similar to the fire truck we looked at. There's wheels. Everyone can read this and know that it's the police. So police cars are marked saying that they are police cars. I just rode up in this police car. Did you hear the siren? Whoop, 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 whoop. A police car has a powerful engine. Some police cars have strong lights on their hood. Thanks for exploring things that go with me. Now fill this page with stickers of your favorite things that go. So there's more stickers that were in the front um, that my son decided to put here. So I think he made a very beautiful collage. And he decided that the fire truck goes on the water. So, you know, the, that's what things, things can possibly do that. <laughs> so there's some more stickers from the front. Okay, this next book, this is called Blippi at the Construction Site. And this is one of those really fun books with noises. Here, let's press it and see what it sounds like. Look where I am at. I'm in an excavator on a construction site. The bucket on an excavator can scoop dirt out of the ground. Me. So he's using controls. He's sitting in the cab. Back here is the engine compartment. These are the tracks. That is called the thumb. Of the, so that thumb helps keep stuff in the bucket like is when it scoops up dirt. This is the arm of the excavator, and this is the boom. I love bulldozers. They can push anything out of their way. So once again, we have a cab, and Blippi is wearing a hard hat and a safety vest. This is called the lift cylinder. This is the engine compartment. Every vehicle has an engine. The blade, so the blade lifts up from this lift cylinder, it's connected. This bulldozer also has tracks like an excavator. And back here, these pieces are called a ripper. So an excavator can scoop the dirt and a bulldozer can push the dirt. Look, an excavator is loading rocks into a dump truck. Now the dump truck is dumping out the rocks. Want to hear how it sounds? Press the button. Okay, so we have an excavator loading rocks into a dump truck. So there's a cab on this vehicle as well. This is called the dump bed or the bed. There's a tailgate that opens to let the items out. There's wheels. And this vehicle also has a lift cylinder. Check out this backhoe. It has a bucket in the front and a bucket in the back. The front bucket is really big. So it kind of looks like a bulldozer, but with an extra, with like an excavator in the back. So it's like two of these vehicles combined. It's really cool. So this is the back bucket, the arm, the boom, the cab, and that's a steering wheel. There's big wheels and small wheels. There's an engine compartment and a front bucket. Wow, that was a really cool book. I really like these um, construction vehicles. I think they're a lot of fun to learn about. And this one is called Blippi. Let's see animals. 
So we have some beautiful stickers. We're going to visit animals. Come on, let's go. Lots of amazing animals live near you. They live in the aquarium and in the zoo. Sea turtles can stay underwater for about five hours. That's a really long time. They have a strong, hard shell, legs like flippers, and no teeth. They eat lettuce for lunch. Wow, a sea turtle is so interesting, says Blippi. Check this out. It's a shark. Sharks have lots of fins to help them move through the water. This is called the tail fin. These are the back fins. So this is what um, most people think of when they think of sharks, is that fin that pops up. Well, it's called a back fin, as well as this one's called a back fin. And these are just more fins on the shark. These are fins that help with steering. So this fin goes up, and these fins go out on the side. And these are gills for breathing, because sharks and fish can breathe underwater. They breathe in water. There are some really big fish in here. A stingray is flat and sleek and has a really long tail. Very sharp tail, fin, and eyes. Wowie, sea creatures, you're allowed to touch. He's touching some snails, a sea urchin, and a sea star. Do you know why this is called a sea star? Because it's in the shape of a star. Penguins are birds that don't fly. Penguins waddle when they walk. Can you waddle like a penguin? They have a pointy beak for catching fish. They have webbed feet for paddling in the water and they have wings like flippers. Here's a big bunch of penguins and they're really cute. Duck say quack. Can you say quack like a duck? This is a female duck. This is a male duck and they have webbed feet for swimming. Ducks are so, so, so cute. Here's a mama duck with all the baby ducks. Baby ducks are called ducklings. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a polar bear. See his big paws? They help him walk on the snow and ice. They have a great sense of smell, big paws, and thick fur for staying warm. Hey, meerkats sure are fun to watch at the zoo. Up to 50 meerkats can live together in one group. A group of meerkats is called a mob. Meerkats take turns looking out for danger. He is up on his hind legs to see better. Yeah, that's me riding a camel. Camels can carry things much heavier than me for a long way. They have one hump and two toes. Orange fur, my favorite. No two tigers have the exact same stripes. They have very sharp teeth. Wow, that's a really big kitty cat. The tiger is the biggest kind of cat in the world. And look how beautiful it is. They're very majestic animals. Thanks for exploring amazing animals with me. Now you can fill this page with stickers of your favorite animal. Wow, look in their stickers to put on this page. All right, well, I really appreciate you hanging out with me as we read books about Blippi. Um, I hope that you're having a really good day. And comment down below, let me know which one of the three books you liked the best. Or which video about Blippi do you like the best? Because he has a lot of videos. Well, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.